Well, this weekend is Juneteenth, and one of the largest celebrations in the nation of the newest federal holiday will happen in Denver's Five Points neighborhood. Denver 7's Micah Smith shows us more about that community that's played a vital part in the history of African Americans here in Colorado. Brian and Molly, today the Five Points neighborhood in Denver is experiencing gentrification and innovation, but this often leaves behind the longtime residents who are trying to preserve the soul of their neighborhood. But I want to take you back to the beginning and explain how Five Points evolved into the resilient community that it is today. In the middle of these four streets in North Denver, you'll find the heartbeat of a community. 26th Avenue, Washington, 27th and Welton Streets joined together to create five distinctive points. Together in the 1870s, the Five Points neighborhood shaped black American life in the Mile High City. Five Points started out as a neighborhood for all races. Once other neighborhoods started to grow and become more trendy, white Coloradans left and moved to other parts of town. Due to racial segregation and redlining, the practice of refusing to give loans or sell homes to buyers of color in certain parts of town, the majority of black Coloradans were forced to remain in the Five Points Whittier neighborhood. As black Coloradans were subjected to the growing presence of the KKK in Colorado throughout the 1920s, Five Points became a haven and a target of hate. Louisville and Golden and parts of Colorado Springs were considered to be a haven for the Ku Klux Klan. But even in the face of discrimination, this area thrived with every storefront representing a black owned business. My grandfather, Alexander uh, Arthur Waller, had a business, opened um, a banking and realty business right next to the Rossonian. And that was kind of the center of the Five Points area. And the most famous musicians stay in its hotels. Here's Billie Holiday. She was featured at the uh, Rossonian and Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington. The good times rolled. The civil rights movement of the 1960s and the anti-discrimination legislation that followed meant black residents were finally allowed to live in other parts of the city. But this resulted in many choosing to leave Five Points and the once thriving neighborhood with bustling storefronts saw a lot less traffic, less city investment, and higher crime. Slowly in the 1980s, businesses started to return with staples like the Black American West Museum opening its doors and efforts to preserve a number of other historic Five Point sites and stories. And we are the gatekeepers for this culture. We are the historians, we're the librarians, we're the storytellers, we're the community activists. Each year during Juneteenth, a holiday celebrating the day that the last slaves in the United States learned they were free, the heart of the city beats loudly in Five Points. With the jazz music, parades, and black culture flowing through the streets of a neighborhood so dear to so many. You can learn more about this incredible community tonight on Denver 7 during our special presentation called Five points. It will air at 630. Molly.